Hey, yo, what's going on, good people? It's your boy Tez back at it again with another video. And you guessed it, you know, or you didn't guess it, but we're talking about Isekai. And what are Isekai, you ask? Well, anything that involves the main character being teleported to another world. You know, I'm a big fan of Isekai from reading and watching. You know, no matter how cheesy or repetitious the tropes are, I, I love them. I can't get enough of them. So, what I'm bringing for you today is five Isekai next season that you should be watching. Three are continuing from a previous season or seasons past and are starting uh, a more climactic and epic development. And the others are new and I'm sure that they're going to have a growing fan base as well as people who can't get enough of them just as much as I couldn't get enough of watching and or reading. So to kick it off, we have Log Horizon. Yo, it's been quite some time since Log Horizon has blessed any device or screen of mine. And I mean, it has been a good minute. I was kind of worried that it would never come back. I thought it'd just continue on in the light novel, but that wasn't the case. It has been picked up and, you know, green lighted for the next coming season in the 2020 into 2021. Uh, so for anyone who's never seen Log Horizon, if you're just looking at this video, I'm going to give you a brief uh, rundown. So basically, Log Horizon focuses on the MMORPG Elder Tales, enjoys a considerable popularity because it has uh, lots to offer from classes to fantasy post-apocalyptic world guilds npcs special quests and all of the rpg trappings you know anything that'll pull someone into an rpg the game is just a great way to escape the daily routine however everything changes with a new patch unable to log off and to die in the game elder tales becomes a new reality for those unfortunate adventures trapped in the game while many are about to give up a group of adventurers decides to unveil the mystery of the game they were playing and find a way to govern their town man this this show even though it does sound similar to um uh what's the show i'm thinking of it's on the tip of my tongue sword art online i think this is the better show overall like it it, it couldn't even in the first two seasons it couldn't get ran into the ground though in log horizon they're dying isn't um the same as generally dying like you die in log horizon sorry not enough in sword art online uh when they die in long horizon yes you die but you do get revived at some point in a given time but you slowly start to lose your memories one thing uh, a lot of them that uh i remember them going through was trying to discover like the true lengths of what happens when you die and a lot of them you know they still have their memories intact but they started to forget less and less now there are some adventurers who hadn't died in the game but we're talking more about the more experienced uh seasoned characters who probably died once or twice just to see what really does happen so yeah um log horizon is probably gonna be a fan favorite it's gonna have a lot of people hype and running in and out just talking about it and i can't wait for it uh number two on the list we have re-zero second season part two uh as much as i would love to try and explain that show that show is a complete mind sabotage and i'm still trying to figure out everything and anything about it as best as i can also but i will say from watching it with the squad and watching it by myself it is an amazing show you will never know which way is up you'll never know which way is down you'll always be trying to figure out something and even when you think you finally figured it out you don't know a damn thing so yeah <laughs> look forward to the second part of the second season of ReZero. number three on the list that time i got reincarnated into a slime now though it hasn't been as long since that show has gone off the air. I believe it may have gone off for two seasons. You shouldn't really need much of a uh, background detail from me to tell you about it. But, you know, that boy Rimuru, young, young slime god, he's setting some things into motion and um, it's about to get good. I don't generally like to spoil anything because I'll probably be talking about it and more than not likely be talking about it when it does come back. I am currently reading the manga and it is amazing. And there are things I wish I could say, but to keep the peace and to not spoil anything for anyone who may watch this video and my future videos when I do discuss it, just be on the lookout because things are about to get hot and heavy. You thought the last season was amazing, like that last fight was something to see. Yes, it was something to see. I will definitely say it's going to get a little slow. It's going to scale up and then it's going to blow the lid off just like it did with the first season you know just take my word for it take my word for it guys number four the new booty on the list the first new booty on the list <laughs> the hidden dungeon only i can enter now i have not read this one so there is finally something i can say i have not read but i will be reading it 
because I, I have to know what's going to happen because just reading the, the synopsis, which I'm going to give you here, I want to know what happens. So the hidden dungeon is a place of legend where rare treasures and items are hidden. You know, the third son of an impoverished noble family who lost one job offer he had was lucky enough to hear about this dungeon. He then acquires a skill that allows him to create, bestow and edit skills. And in order to use it, he needs to accumulate points by carrying out such tasks as eating delicious meals and or doing sexual things with alluring members of the opposite sex. So just <laughs> even just that alone, I'm like, OK, I need to read this. I need to figure out what's going on with this. I know there's some I know there's gonna be some funny gags to happen with this. I know it's 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 gonna have a harem of sorts. If you're not a big harem fan, that's fine. I know a lot of people don't like them. I don't mind it because it generally comes with the territory of the type of shows that I watch. A lot of isekais do center around somewhat of the main character having a harem. There are quite a few that exist of the main character, even the female having a harem. And it's it's not always bad, but they do get kind of cheesy, and the tropes are generally the same run-of-the-mill stuff you encounter. But what keeps me coming back is always the different skills, the abilities, the gods of the world that may interact with the people who bring them there. So you never know. And number five, which is the big, I think this is the, the biggest heavy hitter. It is also the second new booty on the list. Number five. So I'm a spider. So what? It's it's the most weird title ever. But I assure you people, this one here, when I read it, and I, I even started reading the light novel because I needed to find out some more, the more stuff that hadn't been turned into the manga, you know, volumes released yet. I was like, yo, I wouldn't. Know. And this is a year ago. I was reading this one year ago because I, I had just had my, my previous job, uh, which some of you may, you know, that, that, that I was working, working a job previously last year. I'm no longer there. Uh, but when I was reading this through my breaks, I was like, this would be an amazing show if it got animated. And sure enough, here we are. So let me give you the rundown on this. In another world, the hero and the demon king continue to oppose each other. The grand magic from the hero and the demon king crosses over worlds and explodes in the classroom of a certain high school. The students who died in the explosion are reincarnated in that alternative world. The protagonist, who has the lowest standing in the class, was reincarnated as a spider. This is the story of she who has become a spider and doing whatever she can in order to live now she does have to do some wild stuff to live and it's not it's not she's not a busted op character it's literally the same approach to log horizon and another show that i hope someday gets um animated is called remonster well no remonsters we'll, we'll take that out he's busted he actually does have cheat skill this is more so along the lines like if you actually were reincarnated into a world as a creature but you have no op skills or standings you have to essentially act as though monsters do and kind of work your way up the totem because she doesn't she will not stay as weak as she is of course you know she's she's the main character she will not stay a weak little spider forever but she is not gonna be as op as most characters and that's what makes it so fun watching her develop seeing all the stuff she goes through there's a lot of tight moments where you're never sure i mean like i always know there's the type of plot armor like okay if she died well that would make no sense i know she'll overcome it but how is she gonna overcome it because this isn't oh yeah man i got blessed by kami i have the ability to do this oh when i'm in the i'm in a, a pinch my powers explode i get the zenkai boost no dog she is like the lowest of the low like that entry level monster not like not like um my guy from uh reincarnated as a slime she's one of those creatures that falls into that slime level category but she's not busted so yeah guys those are my five what you should be on the lookout for between the end of the year and the new year you know let's hope it's a, a better year than this one uh isekai that should be on your list if you made it this far man please subscribe hit like comment down below let me know if you know about any of these shows if you've actually read them uh some of the previous ones the first three if you've even watched them already i'd love to hear back from you guys man you all be blessed be safe be wonderful i'll let y'all later peace